forget now how the pelvis moves side to side in relationship to the ribs and the head. So again, we're just exploring movement that the spine um, should be able to do, could be able to do, to give it more options to be able to move. Um, so with this one, just let the weight travel into your left leg. And as you do so, allow this right arm to drop down. And then we do the opposite way. So let the weight travel into the right and let the left hand drop down. So you just feel how there's kind of a counterbalance how you end up with that reach, the ribs go that way and that way, and the pelvis is doing the opposite, a bit like a seesaw to counterbalance it. Now we can change the ways that the arms move, we can move them overhead, so it's the same thing. We can reach the right hand overhead and just let those hips travel to the right. We can reach the left hand overhead and let the hips travel to the left. So essentially it's a very, very similar Effect that's going on through the body as the previous one, just a slightly different idea. Um, we'd love to be able to get both, but if one feels slightly less painful than the other, go with that one first.